Hello dear students, today we will be dealing with a topic electric dipole. So what do you mean by dipole? Di means two and pole means two ends or polarity. So for an electric charge, there can be a positive charge and a negative charge. So we can say that two equal and opposite charges placed at a very small vector distance, they can be called as electric dipole. So the definition is two equivalent opposite charges placed at a very small vector distance is called electric dipole. So, how do we represent it through a diagram? So, we can say that let this be a point A where we have a negative charge Q and let this be another point B where we have a positive charge Q. So, you can see that their magnitudes are same Q and Q but they are opposite in charges one is minus and one is positive. Now, they are separated by a small vector distance and let that vector distance be represented by 2a and the direction of the electric dipole is from negative to positive. So we can say that the dipole length is a vector quantity. and its direction is from negative to positive. Now it is interesting to note that the atoms or molecules of water, alcohol, ammonia, carbon dioxide, hydrochloric acid etc. are some of the examples of electric dipole because in these cases the centers of the positive and negative charges charge or charge distribution are separated by small distances. So now if we take this as a negative charge and now this as a positive charge. Now if from the center of these charges if we pass a line then we can call this as an axial line. So now the question is what is an axial line? A line joining the two charges is called its axial line. So a line joining two charges along the center is called its axial line. Next comes equatorial line. Now for this to understand, we have to understand this way. Suppose we have a positive a negative charge here, a positive charge here and from the center a line is passing. Now the lines are passing to the centers of the dipole. That means now this can be called as an axial line. Now if we draw a perpendicular to this axial line then this is called as an equatorial line. So we can say that a line passing through the centers of dipole
and perpendicular to the axial line is called equatorial line. So hope you have understood the concepts of what is an electric dipole. So it's a two equal and opposite charges placed at a very small vector distance. Now the important thing is that this dipole length is a vector quantity and its direction is always from negative to positive. And when a line passes through the center of that negative charge and along the positive charge then we call it as an axial line. And if we draw a perpendicular to this axial line then we call this as an equatorial line. Hope you have understood this.